Welcome back, sports fans. Jim Johnson and Bob Bifford here with all the blood bowl news and events. I know you guys have been waiting eagerly for the announcement you were promised, and I can exclusively reveal that next week will be the launch of the open beta for the undead team. This means that all PC Blood Bowl 2 players will be able to download the open beta client and try out the undead team before they hit the live game. It's a good opportunity to familiarize yourself with the team before they hit live play. Uh, Get a load of the animations, the models, the new star players. And that is confirmed to be hitting us sometime next week. We're not sure of the exact date at the moment, but watch social media for an update on this. The polish has been applied. The testing is there. So we just need some guys to play with them. Other small things that we can announce are, I'm sure some of you have seen on Reddit, that the change to the Orc Blitzer price is being reverted. So they will actually become 10k cheaper in the starting roster. And also the Bretonian Blitzers are going to be gaining agility access, which is another, another point that a lot of Bretonian players, um, I only know about two Bretonian specialists, shall we say, in Blood Bowl. But this is, uh, it's exciting times. Uh, yeah. Undead, Undead are a very competitive team in tournament play. Um, and they're a very hardy team in Perpetual League play as well, so it'll be nice to see them. And a regen team, an almost fully regen team, is the ideal counter to the claw meta that you might be experiencing currently in Cole or any other Perpetual League. What do you guys think? Who Have we got any Undead fans in the house? Undead Definitely. Fans. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, one of my, it's one of my favorite teams when I'm not playing Elves. Uh, I like that they... I like that they have so many pieces that do so many different things, uh, and I'm still super scared of regen because I it mean, always fails. It's a really great mix. It's a really good starting team for a lot of players too, as well. I mean, you got really good strength with the mummies and nice dodging skills with with the ghouls and the whites. You know, I've seen people make them into quarterbacks, but I mean, they're for the hittens, you know. So pretty good stuff, and also regeneration. Pretty good stuff. They're pretty much going to stay on the pitch at most of the times. I think it's nice they're adding more variety too. Because really, mm -hmm. that's the, one of the reasons a lot of older Blood Bowl players seem to not play this version, is because it's not like all the races in it. So the more races that keep coming in, the more people probably keep. There, it. there will probably be a sweet spot, I imagine, Crendor, where there's enough races to pull everyone over. Mm -hmm. um, I imagine a lot of people will make the leap beforehand. I, I know from speaking to the. the the organizers of some quite big Blood Bowl leagues, that their current criteria is if 80% of their player base is represented by the leagues, it, it, by the teams in Blood Bowl 2, they will make the jump from Blood Bowl 1 to Blood Bowl 2. So there, there will be that tipping point. And I think with popular teams like Nurgle, Necro, Undead, those sort of teams coming in, I mean, of course we all want goblins, halflings, and, uh, Slan. and ogres. Slan would be nice, <laughs> Ribbit. But uh... <laughs> pro elves, guys, pro elves, clearly the most important team that's missing currently. I love like everyone shouting elves. Pro elves. Pro elves. Pro elves. Pro elves, so good. <laughs> love pro elves. Where's my pro elves, Cyanide? Get me I'm my I'm really pro glad elves. that they add the agility to the, uh, the specialist players. Because... All right, YouTube, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to leave it a thumbs up at the bottom. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos, do check out the channel and hit subscribe on your top right.